not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Die. Thank you. Holy sh! <gasps> what? <laughs> Holy crap! Uh oh. Uh oh that is Uh World of Wonders. We did it guys, we made it to WoW in the eighties. What is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Wait. Wasn't I just using Obi Wan? Do it. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> My God. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> the commander, you can't outrun me. The commander. Ranger is lit, reinforcements are coming, oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what? Die, worm! <laughs> the hell was that? I've never seen that before. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag.
crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. I'm just going to leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. What? Art <laughs> that, that was unexpected. Artillery providing cover? Hold on, Moreland. I'll get you out. Just hey, as Lloyd. soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Ah. Uh. Would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. Oh. Delivery on the loot. That's so convenient. I almost feel bad for killing him. Almost. No blaster? Your move. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. So uncivilized. There we go. Commander, <laughs> contact your troops. Tell them to move to the higher levels. Very good, sir. The time has come. Time till detonation. Oh, I forgot that detail. We're on a timer. I am so confused. Oh, no, no. Ah, crap. Well, that escalated quickly. Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. Nice. That was not a sniper shot. Don't hunt Loke. Oh my god, she. She hunted Locust and killed her.
Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh... That's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. Whoa! I'm not sure what happened there. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. What? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could do this. You're carrying so much that you can hardly move. You'd better drop something soon. Two for one. <laughs> hey, Teo, got a surprise for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? <gasps> Spider Man! Oh! <laughs> Did you have an adventure? <laughs> oh, you almost gave Daddy a heart attack. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. <clears throat> uh, good work, other Spider-Man. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing? CD, it's good to see you. It's been a little bit. How are you doing? What's going on, Voidum? Jarek, it's good to see you. Wiggles, I hope things are going well. We're going to do some Skyrim this evening. Let's get into that. I already have the game running. I've added more mods to it. A disturbing number. Uh, so we'll see how everything goes. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay. This actually... Hmm... We'll have to see how this runs. Looks like it's running okay. Seems a little slow. <clears throat> now, I'm not referring to the fact that my character is really slow. That's just, you should expect this at this point. That's because I'm overburdened, obviously. If I may have your attention for a moment, a multi-year subscriber has just resubbed again. Allow me to welcome you back. Winters, how are you doing? It's good to see you. What's going on? Thank you so much for 50 freaking seven months of incredible support. Oh boy, okay. This looks slightly framey, doesn't it? I can fix that. It's going to require me to restart the game, though, and edit a few config files. Basically, I think what this means is, kind of like Fallout 4 last night, I'm not going to be able to heavily mod Skyrim and still expect to be able to run it in native 4K. I'm going to have to drop it down to 1080, and unfortunately, 
Bethesda doesn't make that as simple as changing a menu option. I'm gonna have to alter the config. But that's not difficult. That's not hard. I'm just gonna get myself... Oh, crap. Where am I gonna get myself to? I just remembered that I live in solitude. Huh. <clears throat> Doing pretty good, was just playing a little Super Mario Odyssey while I waited for stream. Very nice, Winters. Clearer than ever on your brand new Samsung Galaxy, what is an S22 Ultra? Is that one of their phones? Or is that like a monitor or a TV? You know, the framing this is not really that bad. If you guys have a problem with it, maybe I'll fix it. If not, I might wait until next time. Might also be worth waiting until I get my carry weight situation under control. New phone, very nice CD, very nice. How is it? I've probably got a few more years before I have to upgrade my phone. I hope. Upgrade from an A50. I don't know that one either. I have to admit, I don't keep a close eye on the world of cell phones. I find them convenient to have around, but I don't use them very often. And when I get them, I always pretty much get the closest thing I can possibly get to a stock Android phone. So I used to get the uh, the Nexus series, and then they discontinued that. And my current phone is a Pixel 3a. So I really have no idea what the other manufacturers are up to. I don't really know what the iPhones are up to. I don't really know what Samsung's doing. LG, all of those. I, I understand they're very popular and very good, but I don't know them. I'm not familiar. First time having a flagship phone. Very nice, CD. Okay. It might be... Actually, it's not that framey anymore. That's weird. But that's good. Uh, okay, so... Oh, I guess we looted the rabbit already. This does look really, really nice. As a vivid Samsung user, I think even Samsung does not know what Samsung is up to. How's it going, Ritai? I just mean, I... <laughs> I, I like to stick to the phones that Google themselves make because that guarantees the longest possible, you know, sh sort of shelf life as far as OS updates go. Years and years ago, I had a phone made by somebody else that ran on Android, and I felt a little betrayed when, after only a single major OS update, they just decided, okay, we're not doing updates for this model of phone anymore. And so that's when I started going with the Nexus phones. And then when the Nexus line was canceled, I got the uh, the Pixel 3a. This looks a little weird compared to Fallout, but I think that's because I got used to all the heavy fog last night. I have this terrible feeling that the Diamond City problem we were having in Fallout last night might have something to do with all of that fog. Diamond City's a very, very confined, very compact, very compressed space with a lot of stuff going on. I'm wondering if maybe it's a little too much. So, I haven't started digging into that yet to tr see if I can figure out the crash. 
But something's definitely going on, and I need to see if I can sort it out. Otherwise, we might be doing Skyrim for the 8th anniversary stream instead of Fallout. Which, you know, I'm fine with that. That's not a big deal for me, but I would really like to have Fallout actually functioning properly if possible. By the way, that does bring to mind, I should probably remind you guys in case you weren't here last night. When I'm done stream on Monday, you guys are familiar with what I always tell you. I don't stream on Tuesdays, I don't stream on th Wednesdays, I'll be back on Thursday. That's not true this week. When I'm finished on Monday, I'm taking a week off. So I will not be back on Thursday. I will be off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But, I will be streaming on that Tuesday, because Tuesday is the 18th, and the 18th is my stream anniversary, and I will have been streaming for eight years. So I'm just going to hop out of bed and get right on stream. Well, I'll hop out of bed, get dressed, make coffee, and then hop on stream. And we're just going to play either Fallout or Skyrim for as long as I can stay awake. My cousin got a new phone and number, but said number turned out to still be tied to a Blizzard account, so when he tried to get SMS protected for his Battle.net, well, that was interesting and an annoying procedure with their support? Oh, God. That sounds, like, fun to sort out. Presumably, he wasn't trying to gain access to the account that was still tied to that phone number, though, so it's probably fine, right? Just a bit of a, an annoyance. Okay, so if I remember last time, we just finished doing the dungeon up there. And we hauled ourselves back to Riverwood. And I think I had actually intended to go to the Riverwood Trader to sell stuff off, but huh, we walked all the way to White, right, White Run again, so we're going to sell stuff at Bellathor's. Maybe War Maidens. We'll, we'll stop in at War Maidens. We'll sell the arms and armor. Then we'll go to Balafor and give him the scraps that are left. I'll get a bunch of money. Hopefully I will be capable of moving at something faster than a snail's pace at that point. And then we'll figure out what to do. Because one of the things that I was doing, one of the reasons stream is slightly later than usual tonight... I say that as if it's unusual for me to be a little bit late. Um, I was installing a crap ton of location mods. I've never done that before. I've never really been all that terribly interested in making Skyrim even bigger than it already is. But I thought, you know what? All this stuff is out there. All of it's really highly rated. Let's give it a shot. We just finished a playthrough of Skyrim that's all the vanilla stuff. Might as well take a look at some different stuff, too, while we're at it playing again with all the mods, right? So I loaded up one of those blog pages. 
that's like, you know, the best 15 location, new location adding mods for Skyrim. And I just went through and I added every single one of them. Except for one, which wasn't available on the Nexus, and I didn't really have time to fuss around trying to figure out if it's available on another site or what the deal was, so I skipped that one, but all the other ones I got. So I've got Bruma, I've got the Summers, Somerset Isles, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff I don't even remember. Beyond the Reach, I've got that. Skyrim Underground. All sorts of nifty things. was fine. Even turns out the other Blizzard account had been dormant for like a year, so I'm guessing the previous owner of that phone number had stopped gaming or maybe even died. After only one year? Probably stopped gaming or maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Got really busy. I wouldn't assume they died just because they didn't use one account for a year. That seems a little excessive. I'm excited that my new tablet will allow me a second screen, thus allowing not controlling my whole stream from my phone. Oh my god, CD, that sounds nightmarish. Huge upgrade and change for behind the scenes? That's awesome, CD. I'm spoiled, though. I have to admit this. This is privilege at its peak. I've been using three displays on a PC to run a stream for years and years and years and years to the point that I can't even conceive of running it on a computer with only a single display, let alone, you know, I can't even imagine going down to two displays, let alone one display, let alone having that one display be a phone or a tablet. But, you know, that's because I'm not used to it. I'm sure it's perfectly doable. <laughs> It would just require completely relearning everything that I do. Yeah, yeah, that does. Uh, that too, Jarek. That would definitely do it. I went right by War Maidens. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. How much money have you got? Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Enrich myself, actually. What happened to your eyebrow? Okay. Weaponry. I actually don't have many weapons to sell. Okay, Good thank you, sir. With you. Oh my god, I can move. To be fair, doing it from my phone has been pretty simple. It's loot. Okay. I uh, Honestly, that's interesting to hear, CD. Losing chat when I need to change screens that will change? Oh, that's, yeah. So now I'll have a screen dedicated to chat. Now that, that I can imagine. Using a phone or a tablet for watching chat and controlling it on something else, whether that something else is a phone or a PC or whatever. That's pretty cool. I've seen people do that before. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, this is a little bit slow. I think maybe I'll stick it out until my break. But once my break comes around, I'm going to probably see about switching this over to uh, 1080. I think the 4K is just a little bit too much on the slow side. Wow, that's a pretty hefty... 
Oh, crap. I just remembered the mod I forgot to add. The one that makes merchants actually have significant amounts of money. Bellathor here can't afford to buy this jade dragon from me. Adrian shaved one of his eyebrows while he slept? Maybe, maybe. Either that or he got too close to the forge and burned it off. I want this money, damn it. He can't afford to give it to me. Okay, I might have to add the Merchants Have Money mod while I'm on break, too. In other news, I might have to take a break soon. <laughs> it's a little early, but... Come back. Yikes. Okay. Playing Daisy back in the day with a computer that hated tabbing to other screen to scroll the map. Yeah, that's when having that map on the tablet is amazingly useful. Fallout 4 used to have a companion app for Android and iOS that would allow you to have the entire Pip-Boy interface on your tablet or your phone, and you could control the game using it as if it were the in-game Pip-Boy. And they discontinued support for it a few years ago, and I was so upset. I used to use that all the time. It was so good. Hey, Sketchy. How's it going? It's going good. Good to see you. Uh, where did Uthgird go? Uthgird. Uthgird! Damn it, where the heck are you? Uthgird! Shoot. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any There questions. you are, Uthgird. I think I actually still have the companion app on my iPad. I could probably still use it. I should dust that off and see if I can get that running. It's a very old iPad, though, and I'm concerned that if I were to ever get a new iPad, I wouldn't be able to use it anymore. I've still got an iPad 2, which at this point I believe is more than 10 years old and barely functional. Well, actually, it works fine, but the new software and everything, it just, you can't really run anything. What the heck is this? That's hilarious. Where's the giant? Found the giant's weapon. Hey, Ansara. No, the game hasn't crashed, although I am kind of thinking that when I take my break, I might close the game down and restart it just because it's a little bit framey. And I think that's... It, it, it's clearly because of the mods I've got, but I'm also running it in native 4K. I made the decision last night that I was going to have to run Fallout 4 in 1080 and I should have done the same with Skyrim. I mean, all things considered, it's actually running really well. But it's not quite as smooth as it really should be. I also forgot to add the mod that allows you to... Or that uh, allows merchants to have significantly more money. So they can buy lots more stuff from you. So I have this really nice J... Oh. That's still going on, is it? Okay. I have this really beautiful Jade Dragon in my inventory. That I... Um... I think the Jarl has some problems with his hired help.
Yeah, it's it's not enough that I'm gonna rush and try to fix the problem right this very second. But I would like to fix it. Like right now it seems fine. Everything's okay. There's just the tiniest little bit of perceptible lag. But it's looking pretty good, and it's running pretty good. But I think, you know, cutting the, down the amount of rendering that has to be done, it can only help. Merchants having more money was a dream I wished I had on Xbox. Yeah, well, this this Jade Dragon, what the hell are you? That's got to be from one of the mods I added. I have extra creatures and monsters and stuff. Oh. Harry and Roach. Lovely. Yeah, that's why I keep playing Skyrim and Fallout 4. Sketchy. That's also why I expect 2023 is going to roll around, Starfield's going to come out, and every other game in existence is going to stop. Big. Okay. Clearly. I need to rethink my addition of anti-gravity mods. That's probably for the best. Oh, that's a bear cub. Good job. But, that kind of implies Mama might be around. Oh, we should have let the bear live. It killed us storm cloak thing. Quote unquote person. I know mods are a thing on Xbox now. Could that have possibly been added? I have no idea. I've never looked at which mods are available on Xbox. But I do know that if you're going to mod Skyrim on console CD, Xbox is the one to go with. Sony is extremely restrictive about what mods are allowed on their platform. So uh, there are relatively few available for PlayStation. Things are a lot better on, on Xbox, as I recall. Hello? Wooly Rhino? Oh. I may have miscalculated a little. Ah! Or a lot. Possibly a lot. If I may have a moment, I'd like to welcome the brand new Lore Seeker to the library. Thank you for the follow. What the heck? Thank you for the follow! Uh... Oh, I don't... I don't want a sword! Ah! I wanted a follower to distract it. On the plus side, it's losing health.
I don't know how to melee. Who melees in Skyrim, please? That's almost as silly as the idea of flinging little bits of wood at stuff. I'm a proper mage. Ugh. Once upon a time, you couldn't, Sketchy, but that was in the dark old days of crapitude. Now, when did I last save the game? <laughs> yeah, right. You exclusively use war hammers. Uh, because apparently that was the sword or the spell that I had equipped, Anstara. Oh, I, actually, that's not that bad. I didn't think it was gonna. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I didn't think it was gonna auto save for me. And it looks like I've already sold most of my crap. More inside. Instead of summoning a follower, a temporary companion, I summoned a sword instead. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. It's called if Open not, City Skyrim, and Star. Right it's away. really nice. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Someone should sell you, Bellathor. Except who'd pay for you? I guess that's a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. Stole a bunch of my money. Do come back. Rude. <laughs> Melee, please. I'm a real warrior, a wizard. actually sure of what we were going to get up to today. I just had it in my head, we're going to play Skyrim. And that's about it. Through on Starra. I just meant that, obviously, in the battle between warriors and wizards, wizards are the obvious winners in every circumstance that can be conceived of. Moderating for 10 people plus doing my own thing has made me busy for a guy with no actual job. No worries, CD. You never have to apologize for being here or not. You have your life to live, and life always has to come first. I'm just grateful when you can be here, that's all. Okay, so... Number one on our Skyrim to-do list... Do not antagonize the woolly rhino. At least not until we're a little bit more powerful. So, 
Though I will say, I, I think we managed to get it down to about half its health. So, not too shabby. Depends on range and personal stealth, but normally I'd agree with you. Oh. Glad I've got Uthgird here. Thank you, Uthgird. A stealth knife wielder that actually starts attacking from behind might be a bit iffy. Well, if the stealth knife wielder actually manages to win, I would simply argue that the wizard was obviously not properly prepared for that contingency, and so it's the wizard's own fault. I won't lie, when I play melee, wizards are my worst enemies. However, when I play archer, wizards die pathetically to me. And when I play archer, warriors kill me. It's rock, paper, scissors. Rock is warriors melee. They beat archers rogues, who are scissors, who beat mages, who are paper, who in turn beat warriors melee. This is the trinity, and it's never wrong in Skyrim. Okay, fair. I just... I, I suppose I'm used to being the almighty archmage who destroys everybody. I don't really consider what a player character can do, because I don't have to fight player characters, I only have to fight NPCs, and they all die. Okay, we don't want to continue down this way because of force of utmost evil lies that way. Just down the road a little bit. Being the Dragonborn trumps all clearly, yes. Okay, who did those guys kill? Actually, don't worry about that so much right now. Oh. The hell is this? I think you're immersive patrols. I don't think that's immersive patrol. Well, actually, it could be a combination of things, actually. It could be immersive patrols, but it, I think that's also the mod that adds new creatures and stuff. What are these guys? They look like goblins of some sort. I seem to remember adding a mod that did something with goblins. Maybe that's why. Yeah, Goblin Longbow, Goblin Shaman Staff of Frostbite. I think these are extra Goblin types. Which is kind of cool, actually. I like that. Ultra! Oh, actually, Ultra, I'm really, really, really glad that you showed up tonight. I mean, I always am, obviously. 
hello, and it's wonderful to see you, and how are you? Uh, but I also specifically had something I wanted to ask you about. Tagarung mentioned that you were playing Skyrim last night, and first of all, holy crap, I wish I had seen that. But second of all, you were using crowd control. How did that go? I was looking at that earlier today before I even learned that you had been using it. I, uh, I, I'm thinking very much of adding that into my build myself. Maybe I shouldn't be asking the streamer how using crowd control went. How did the chat find crowd control? <laughs> Crowd control brings out the chaos in viewers, yes. Chat was goddamn evil and loving it. You need more of my people in your chat. My chat is very responsible about that kind of system. They understand that to truly be entertaining, it's best not to just spam kill the streamer at every opportunity. They like to cause the death of a thousand cuts and string it out for extended periods of time. Ah. They would spawn in like 20 mud crabs. I'm low level fresh start and then take away all of my arrows. Oh my god, Ultra. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing it, Ultra. I I'm hoping that it works with Fallout 4 as well. Because we've got Spooky Month this month, obviously, in October. And I'm doing my 8 year anniversary stream on Tuesday the 18th. But then also beyond that, next month is November. Which means it's going to be Extra Life Fundraising Month again. And I'm going to be doing either Skyrim or Fallout, depending on which one is running better under the weight of all the mods I'm throwing into them both. And I think crowd control would be pretty ridiculously good. I don't think water's supposed to flow uphill that way. That's weird. Hey, Vikings, how's it going? Egerung was actually brutal. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's a neat looking sky. How's it going, Tagarung? Rule number one of streaming, if you give chat an inch, they will take a mile of that rope and hang you with it. No, not mine. Not mine. I have sensible heads in my chat who are well aware of the fact that if you kill the streamer too quickly, the fun is over. That's why I mentioned the death of a thousand cuts. They like to string it out and make it last a long time. And they will occasionally help instead of murder in their efforts to make things last a long time. Yes, but also no. What did Tagarung do? <laughs> well, okay. There was the chipmunk incident with Ty. There's, there's that. That's true. Oh my god. Okay, apparently... I think the ENB that I added... Or maybe the reshade presets... Have made darkness really... Like, nights really, really, really ridiculously dark favorite that and oh damn it I just realized I don't have a light spell I 
How do I get out of here without a light spell? The mud crabs made me want to cry. I didn't spend any bits, I just used the few free coins they gave you so the dragons and mud crabs and all the other stuff wasn't me. Okay, one mud crab was me. You've never feared mud crabs so hard in your life? Oh my god, I might have to go watch your VOD, Ultra. By the way, did we get a shout out for Ultra and also for CD? Can we do that, please? They're both wonderful streamers you need to be following. By the way, Ultra, uh, I, I kind of know your pain. I myself am level 4 at the moment. This is not the same save where I actually finally beat the game 10 years after it released. We started a new one. Yeah, you completely misunderstood the gist of what I was saying, Crystal Dragon. They absolutely torture me. They just don't torture me in one burst that ends in my swift death. They torture me over the longest possible time that they can do. They make the pain last. Thank you very much, Tagarong. By the way, Tagarong, are you aware of the new shoutouts? If you type slash shout out then it does that oh uh, okay well ultra shout out is active at the moment once that's done we can activate one for a crystal dragon oh my god I can't see a freaking thing I might have to adjust this I don't like these really extreme darkness mods People seem to like them because they think it's realistic. It's not even remotely. Clearly, these people have never been out beyond city lights in the darkness in real life. They also think it's scary. Looking at a black screen is not scary. It's mostly just annoying. Okay, that lets me see a little bit at least. No problem, CD. We'll get you a proper one, too, at some point soon. Wait just a minute. Do I maybe, possibly... I... Ooh. Mm, that's... Can I use that? Oh. Okay, so that's not a usable lantern. It's just a... Crash lantern. What about a torch? Torches are a thing in this game, right? Yes, they are. There we go. First priority, I gotta get back to town and I need to get the candle light spell. And maybe stock up on torches if I'm going to keep on playing this way. We don't want to go to Fort Greymore. That would be bad. Oh, we also don't want to wander through the dragon or the, the giant camp. That would also be bad. Oh, um... I hope that's not already too close. I just about smacked into the mammoth foot. Let's go the other way. Uh, I don't want to turn up the in-game brightness. Although I might have to if it's going to be this dark. This just means maybe I have to go and look for a slightly less dark reshade. But then again... Oh, oh, um... I mean, no harm, Mr. Giant. Please don't send me into the stratosphere. It could be that 
the knights are going to have differing levels of darkness, and this just might happen to be a really particularly dark night. We'll find out, I guess. Well, just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it. Okay, that uh, seems to have accomplished nothing whatsoever. Your darkness mods are too powerful. I think so. I just installed Reshade earlier today. I was hoping it would give the ENBs I'm using a little bit more of a spooky kind of feel. So far, I think I'm having much better luck making Fallout spooky than Skyrim. But at least Skyrim is actually looking pretty good. Goods and wares of all kinds, and all can be yours. Reshade would do it if it overrides in-game settings. Yeah, that's got to be the culprit then. I did it because it was going to make nights darker. I didn't know just how much darker. Theoretically, you should have sliders in Reshade. That's another good argument for <laughs> running in 1080 because I can't read any of that. Hang on a second here. There we go. Lighters for ants, yes. Uh, well, if the torch was going to die, it picked the perfect moment. Trying to October the hell out of games that normally don't have that feel. Well, I mean, it's it's kind of fun to do because I like to extend that ambiance right all the way through December. Because people don't think about this. Go over the Christmas stories you know in your head and think carefully about just exactly how many of those stories are actually ghost stories. You know, the spooky feelings don't have to go away when October is done. I mean, A Christmas Carol is one of the spookiest ghost stories we have in our common cultural collective. Yeah, there's a lot of light right at the gate on Stara. It's it, it's interesting. I'll send someone over. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. You're very perceptive, ma'am. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Need something? Okay. Ten o'clock. Let's go maybe. 10 hours. It really is on Stara. I have to get a candlelight spell. Unless there's an even better light producing Let me know if spell. Anything else you need. I think illusion is going to become one of my dominant skills in this game. What the? Need something? Yeah, I need to not be locked inside. What the hell? Zeus, it's been a while. How are you doing? I haven't sold a single copy of my autobiography. That's the story of my life. Could be a taxi. 
It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. <laughs> it's good to see you, Zeus. How are you doing? Yeah. All right, where's what's his face? My favorite story of the Grinch is at its core uh, being that wouldn't theory scare a lot of kids. Well, there's no theory about it. The Grinch actually does scare a lot of kids. You, wizard boy. I need your spells. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the on. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay. What kind of light creation spell? Oh, okay. So we've got Bound Sword and Bound Battle Axe, but I don't need that right now. Let's get Candlelight. I've been doing pretty good, Zeus. Good to see you as well. I'm doing great. Recovering from hernia surgery. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope it went well. Getting ready to go back to work on the 17th. Very nice. Fact is usually outshined by his stealing of Christmas. There is that. That's true. Let's maybe get the flame Atronach. So that next time I antagonize a woolly rhino. I might last two or three seconds longer. Ghost Walk. Caster is invisible for 10 seconds or until broken, then teleports back to where the spell was cast. I suppose I can maybe see some use for that, potentially. Mage Light. Ball of light that lasts 60 seconds and sticks where it strikes. Get that. I've already got Pale Shadow. Oh, Rift Bolt looks good. I'll get that. I'm not seeing, seeing massive numbers of light creation spells. I might have to look for more mods for magic. If you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. I'll think about it. You have to listen. Maybe when I feel like becoming Archmage. I've been doing pretty good, Zeus. I've been having fun modding up Fallout and Skyrim for October spookiness. Questionable results in Skyrim, although... Even if it's not specifically all that terribly spooky, at least it has ended up looking really nice. Fallout looks pretty spooky. And then I've got my eight-year anniversary as a Twitch streamer coming up on the 18th, so that'll be a lot of fun too. I'm feeling quite tired, so I think I'll go grab some sleep. That's probably a good idea then, CD. Do have a great stream. So great to see you again. Ah, uh, you too. Hope to see you again soon. Have a fantastic night, and I will catch you again, uh, hopefully you pretty soon. So I hear. One moment, please. We have a new lore seeker in the channel. Thanks for the follow. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that. Welcome on in. Okay, let's favorite candlelight and mage light right off the bat. And why is pale shadow not favorited? What the heck? 
Alright, we're going to do... Let's do four for candlelight. Elemental bolt is five. Okay, so we've got Mage Light now. I'm just going to spam that around everywhere so that we get practice with it. Can I not stick it to people? That's disappointing. It's also a little disappointing that nobody reacts to it. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. That's... <laughs> That's hilarious. Guess what, Uthgird? Now you get to carry light, too. Okay, I think just for laughs, we're going to make the trek back home again. Uh, Ultra, I don't know if you're still hanging around, but if you or other people were not here last time when I started this playthrough of Skyrim, you may or may not be aware I used the Another Life or Live Another Life mod instead of doing the traditional prisoner on the wagon waking up thing. So I chose to be a landowner in one of the holds, and so right from the very beginning of the playthrough, I have owned the player home in Solitude, which is great, except that I'm almost never in the Solitude area, and so that's my only place at the moment to actually store all my crap. I have the player home in Solitude Ultra, the one that cost 25000 to buy, and I got it for free. Well, it was either Born Rich or Born Dragon. I decided to be Born Rich this time. We've done the Dragonborn thing so many times. It's getting old. He even started with the noble robe. Yeah, I think I've sold that off now. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Oh, okay. I thought that was another new weird creature. Oh, you lost your light. There you go. Hey, what the... Keep your damn magic to yourself. <laughs> yeah, get used to it. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this foolishness. Now come along quietly, and we won't have to get rough. Brother, I, I know, right? Poor Uthgird. Ah. Ow. 
screwed. Oh crap, no, I forgot Tagarung. Thank you for the reminder. After stream, I will have to go look at those. Weird place for a beehive. Things look even better when I don't have this dream set at 480? Yeah, that would do it. Funny curse that if I could curse the Thieves Guild to get candlelight on them every time they tried to sneak about, that's amazing. That's also hilarious. I'm almost halfway tempted to join the Dark Brotherhood just to try to permanently apply candlelight to every one of them. <laughs> uh, maybe another thing I need to pick your brain about one day, Ultra, is your ability to play clips on stream. I don't know how you do that. I mean, I can think of various ways it could be done, but I don't know specifically what technique you use for doing that. Because I think that would be pretty fun. And I see a lot of streamers these days are able to just sort of magically, randomly pull clips up from people that have raided them. That would also be pretty cool. Wizard asked me to proofread one of his scrolls last week. Actually, it was more of a spell check. Oh, this guy actually had stuff. He's got a huge knapsack. That's not a euphemism. Also gonna steal that, yes. I like that one quite a bit actually. That was pretty good. Oh, you know what we can do? Before we go back, where is the thing? There's another player home right near Rorikstead. We must be... Ah, I think that's it way up there. Okay. Warning you, I will not hesitate to cast light on you.
Is it just me, or is it a little weird that I cast light on that traveler and he instantly went hostile? I mean, honestly, it's not that surprising, I suppose. If a strange wizard just randomly cast magic at me, I might be a little bit miffed as well. Especially if I didn't have a proper and thorough advanced understanding of what exactly he was doing to me. And suddenly I imagine every target of Gord's being called Aziz just so Aziz Light will match. I haven't seen that movie in a million years. It's already happened. Bounty juvenile mud crab. It's kind of weird and I'd wonder if it counts as hostile, but you cast it on that lady near town and she didn't react. Well, she told me not to do it. So she kind of reacted, but she certainly didn't seem to take it as hostile. remember this being here, which doesn't mean it wasn't here. Probably. It's a sword, therefore it's worthless, which I... Maybe not as worthless as flinging little bits of wood at people, but pretty close. Open hopes abandoned. Alright, fine. I'll... Log my... Oh, actually, wait, what am I doing? Hothgard. Where did you... There you are. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Hey, yes. You cling to that optimism. Oh, shoot. She can't save me from this. I, uh... I've already overloaded her as well. Lead on, then. Okay, then. In about half an hour, we will reach Golden Hills Plantation. Actually, make that an hour, because I have to go back for that sword. Yeah, I kind of figured it was Space Vikings. I think we'll hold off on going there for now.
We need a mod that makes followers mechanically similar to the protagonist in Fallout 4 and thus able to be overloaded but with broken legs. Wow. It's just a frickin' steel sword. You made me come all the way back here for that. Really? I don't know anything about the redemption staggerung, so I couldn't even begin to guess. Yay! Thank you. Oh. I have another volunteer to become a living lantern up ahead. Fun fact, since I imagine you've only ever put points in Magicka. No, actually, that's not true. I put quite a few points into Stealth and Stamina and uh, Speechcraft as well. Increasing Stamina increases your carry capacity. Okay. See, now you've got my attention. However, I am using the Ordinator mod, which means that all of my perk point things are actually quite a bit different than Vanilla. So that may or may not still be true for my game. Oh, um, no, it's, I, I actually do sometimes put points into stamina for that purpose, now that you mention it. Stop dodging when I'm trying to make you glow. Actually, it occurs to me that this is a really good way to ensure that you can find a body after it dies. not very bright and by the guts it wants to stay that way I thought there were wolves or something up here. Hey, I can cast all kinds of light all over the place now.
Did that just go right? No. Oh, yeah, it did. It went right through. My dreams of turning that into a lighthouse are for nothing. <laughs> nice winters. I like that. Walk ever in the lighter, we will drag you into it. <laughs> I'll turn you into a lamp. I should do that to Vigilance of Stendar and see how they take it. Okay, all we have to do is investigate the haunted house and we get to keep it. I feel strange, hot and cold all at once. My hand jakes, hard to write, so dizzy. I think I've been poisoned. She got, seems she got the better of me after all. This is so much better. Alright, we'll start top down. Actually, now that we're inside, might not be the... Oh my god. I could barely go upstairs. Might not be a bad time for me to take a break. Oh, they have books. Earl's Journal. Today's the first day of our new lives. I bought a sizable piece of land with a rundown farmhouse for dirt cheap just outside of Rorikstead. No one else wanted it on account of how rocky it is. Too many boulders, the other men said. But Yonquil and I have strong backs and willing hearts. We'll get these boulders out and turn this fertile land into a plantation they could only dream of. This will be the perfect place to raise our little Rin. 21st of Second Seed. Long day. Hand hurts almost too much to write. Farmhouse is repaired and the first plants are in the ground. Feels good. We did it. Yonkwil kissed me tonight like she did when we were first married. Her eyes are calling me. First of sun's height. We harvested our first crops today. It wasn't much, but it's a start. When I watched the sun's rays first break over the horizon on our fields today, I knew what to name this place. Golden Hills Plantation, after Akatosh's glorious light. Soon it will be an inheritance worthy of our sun. Just a bit longer. I know it. 23rd of Frostfall. My heart is troubled. Rin is fast growing into a strapping young boy, though he spends too much time playing with that wooden sword of his and dreaming of running off to join the Legion. But my dear wife, Yonkwil, her strangeness worries me. Sometimes she'll disappear for hours at a time and then turn up in the house as though she'd been there all along. I often see her carrying a basket full of strange dark flowers, and she won't tell me what they are or where she got them. And last winter, when Rin fell ill with wind, f with fever, Yonkwil produced a small black bottle from who knows where and poured who knows what down his throat. Only a few minutes later, the fever was gone. Yonkwil refused to tell me what was in the bottle or where she got it. I was so happy that she saved our little boy, of course. But... Myra preserved me, but I'm afraid that my wife is a Daedra worshipper. Or a witch. 16th of Midyear Rin has been missing for three days, my little boy. I've searched everywhere, but there's no trace of him. Even his favorite toy sword is missing. What if wolves got him, or brigands snatched him away? Yonkwil has been watching me. I don't like the look in her eyes. And she hasn't cried at all. What kind of mother doesn't cry when her child is missing? What if... I dare not even put the thought to paper. It's unthinkable. I found it. I found Yonkwil's secret. This is the place she's been disappearing to. The potions, the plants, the books. Such evil and unnatural things I found down there. Divines help me, my wife is a witch. I didn't want to open her foul books, but I had to know. I had to. Deadly Nightshade, that's what the plant is called, the one I saw her sneaking around with. She grows it everywhere in this hidden place. She must have poisoned my son. I've seen the sneer on her face, the laughter in her eyes as she watched me tearing apart the farm looking for him. She was mocking me. I've never felt rage like this. I'm shaking with it, sweating with it. I know exactly what I've got to do. My son's spirit whispers to me, demanding vengeance. I keep an axe by the door for dealing with wild animals. 
it will do for dealing with a witch as well. Okay. Oh, empty. We'll finish searching the upper level here. Not that there's a whole lot more to find. Alright, that's about it for the upper level, so I'm going to go take my first break of the evening. If you folks need to get up yourselves, maybe grab some food or a drink, get a snack, whatever you got to do, this is a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few, and then we will make our slow way down throughout the rest of the house until we find the secret of what went down in this place and claim the plantation for our own. So I'll meet you back here in just a few. Examine a hole. Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. See, I'm not the only one. The NCPD does it too. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job! I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. Pardon me, this program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. Back. Come on. Ah, there you are. There we go. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. I'm just going to leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. 
Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Not what I was going for, Aloy. I'll save this for a dire. That's what I wanted. Nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Okay. I know, Nobby. It's almost like it remembers that we already looted the entire place. How dare they? What the hell? I bet you I can use this. Still got it. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> uh. Wow. Look at that. It's a blue T-Rex. That is so cool. I love that color combo. Okay, I'm back. Let's give the game a try now. going to take a little bit to load up. Not too much longer than standard, but a little bit. Thank you, Winters. Thank you, Ensara. Oh, oh, right. Wondering why it was so quiet, and I forgot I turned the audio off for the break. That's better. Wait, why are we downstairs? Oh, also, yeah, this is... Heckin' smooth. This is so much better. Search the plantation for clues. Find the hidden laboratory. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Othgird. That was perfect.
uncle's journal. On my current new run of Skyrim, I'm going with the so-called Gish build, leveling both destruction and two-handed weapons. Very nice. 23rd of First Seed. Ervil wanted so badly to make a go at being farmers, so here we are now with our own rocky plot of land and a ruined old farmhouse with a leaky roof. It's not what I dreamed of, but we'll make the best of it. At least the soil's good, even if it's full of boulders. I'll be able to get a nice garden going with all the ingredients I need for my potions. The income from that should get us through the first winter, if nothing else. I found a secret room walled off in the basement. It will do nicely for my alchemy lab. I love my husband dearly, but he can be a pig-headed dolt when it comes to the gentle magics of the earth. If it weren't for my potions, little Rin would have perished last winter from a fever. Our plantation is doing well enough, but Erval's eyes are getting bigger than his purse. He was talking of purchasing a wagon recently, like we don't sometimes struggle to put food on the table. A wagon, honestly. I've seen the ugly looks. He gives my potions and herbs, but where else are we going to get the money for all the things he buys? Next thing you know, he'll be trying to buy another farm. 13th of Midyear. Rin's gone missing. We've looked everywhere, but we can't find him. His little wooden sword is missing too. God's preserve me, I hope he hasn't run off. He doesn't realize how dangerous it is out there on the tundra. It's been three days now. My little boy is still gone. I don't like how Orville is looking at me. His eyes are too dark, too still, like a frozen lake. I think I even heard him mutter something about getting what I deserve. Would he have? No, I dare not even put the thought to paper. He did it. He must have. That monster killed my son, and now he looks at me with those hate-filled eyes and a mocking smirk. He despises my alchemical arts so much that he took my son from me to punish me. I've never brewed poison before, but I know how it's done. I know how to bottle death. A few drops in his mead and my child will be avenged. It is done. The gods will damn me, but they will damn him more for the murder of a child. Rin, I'm so sorry. I wish I could have... Wait, I hear something. <laughs> nice, Sunstara. Okay, so what do we have to do next? Presumably we need to go find out the truth of what happened to the kid. I don't suppose anyone happened to have clipped that bit with Uthgird and the ghost, because that would be amazing. Oh yeah, okay, this is infinitely better. Skyrim is definitely now one of those games I have to run. 1080. Ah, uh, that's fine. Thank you, though. I can always go back and clip it later if I remember where it was. <clears throat> no worries. I just, uh, I used the stream deck to make a clip of me basically saying that I, if I remember where it was, I can do it. It's only a few minutes ago, so I can use that weird random clip as a memory jog and then go back and find it pretty quickly. That's most of the reason that uh, for the last, I don't know, how long have I had it? Maybe a little over a year now. 
I have the time and date stamp on my overlay. You wouldn't believe how useful that is for clipping stuff. And ah, there it is. Always sketchy, always. Rin's toy sword. Find out what happened to Rin. Return Rin's toy sword to the farm. Did I murder... I, <laughs> I think I killed the butterfly with a light spell. I do consider it my default state. It always feels weird and unnatural when I move around faster than this. for this. We must. Wow, look at that robe. Are you a wizard? You come back from the dead as a spirit and that's your question, really? Thanks a lot. Here, take this for all your hard work. Okay, now I can drop all my crap off. Without going all the way back to solitude.
We've stopped. What is it? I have a better backpack for what you so that take? you can carry even more stuff for me. Aren't you thrilled? Lead on then. Okay. A farmer's life for me, yeah. Not so much. Not right now, anyway. Maybe eventually. Find the owner of the golden claw. That would be me, game. That would be me. Talk to the strange jester? No, we're not doing that one. If, oh, right, the Frost Salts to Arcadia. Okay, so I guess we have to go all the way back. We're going to have to go to White Run. <laughs> I know, Winters, right? That's a hyena? Sorry, Uthgird. I have a backpack that increases my carry weight by a couple hundred points. It was useful for 10 minutes. Oh no. It's useful if I can keep that out in front of me. Um, Uthgird? Do you mind? Where'd you go? Hey, it is useful for finding bodies. Good, Saber Cat, too.
Now you just need to shuffle your way from rift into solitude. Oh no. Probably a terrible idea. I'm gonna accidentally hit one of those giants and make it mad. to make it really glow. Good. I hope you're ready. I don't suppose that backpack has helped any, Othgird. We've stopped. What is it? I want to test something. What do you need to take? <laughs> More of your inventory room. Nope. Okay. Let's go. Was worth a try. I think I found the road. Is that? I think that's. That's gotta be one of the keeps or castles that you go past.
Yeah, okay, so that's Fort Greymore. So we want to stick to this side of it. <laughs> what? Don't run into my spell and then blame me. I was not targeting you. For the record, I deny all responsibility for this. Yeah. Oh, you son of a... Get him! Thank you. Clearly trying to press a fraudulent insurance claim. I think you're right. That's the only explanation. Wow, there's so many large knapsacks. Sorry, Uthgird. Thought I was hearing undead. Helping you not die. I can stop if you want. What was that? That didn't sound good. Red alert. Raid incoming. Alera, El, Joduri, and all librarians, please get all viewers and patrons into welcome shelters immediately. Library cards are available for distribution. Wiggles, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. Welcome on in, everyone. Folks, if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as strategy games, sandboxy games, and retro RPG and classic adventure games. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. While I'm running that, why don't you tell me how your stream went uh, what was the best thing that happened to you? What were you playing this evening? Let me get you a quick uh, shout out just before I launch into the video. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I have two wiggles here tonight, or have had two wiggles here tonight, so. Oh, that is, that's me, bot. That's ridiculous. 
Sorry about that. I appreciate you being here at the bond. Uh, sometimes it shouts me out instead of the person I put in. Just got done with multiplayer mod. Had some tech difficulties, but nothing crazy. I'm trying out playing a necromancer for the first time. I always play as a mage, but I've never played specifically as a necromancer. That's really cool. Uh, you'll have to tell me more about that. But in the meantime, here's the video. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Okay, that Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. So I take it then that you were also playing Skyrim. You're also trying archery. You are very squishy. I don't do a lot of archery in Skyrim. I have found that it's actually not as useless. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot. Audio. Uh, it's not as useless as I tend to think it is. But don't tell chat that. They'd never live me down if I actually admitted to that. I go mostly magic all the time. Wow. That wolf had some moves. So yeah, I'm actually pretty squishy myself still. This is a very new playthrough. I just finished playing through the main story of the game for the first time ever. Just like maybe a month ago. I had played hundreds of hours of Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition before, but I had never actually finished the game. So it was fun to actually take it to that level and complete it for once. And I did it on a just a pure vanilla run, no mods or anything. So I thought this time, get back into the modding thing. It's been a while since I've run it with mods. I've played so many hours, but I'm still really bad at it. As long as you're having fun, you're playing it correctly. Oh, did I manage to nail him with light? That's hilarious. I don't think I did. I think I just alerted him. Which is fine. I'm not actually going to Fort Greymoor. I'm just trying to make my really slow 
constantly forever overburdened way back to Whiterun. Although it would probably be smarter to have turned back seeing as I don't live anywhere near Whiterun. Maybe I'll just take us so close that we really don't have a choice and they're gonna come out and try to murder me and I'm gonna have to take the castle just purely as a means of self-defense. I didn't mean to conquer the fortress, sir. They didn't really leave me any choice. They were gonna shoot me full of arrows if I didn't. Stop moving! Ow. Uh. Oh, now you've done it. You went and made Othgird mad. <laughs> gotcha. What did I just say about moving? So rude. Ugh. It's like they know. Get him, Othgird. I really need to up my rate of magic every gen. Okay, you know what, Uthgrid? Let's just go. They're not really worth it. Oh, good. Saber cat. Most of my time is just spent dicking around. I always have a good time, but don't really get anything done. Yeah. That describes my experience for the most part in both Skyrim and Fallout 4. I have over 3,000 hours in Fallout 4, and I've only completed the main story four times in all of that time. Things are going pretty good, Aburn. How are you doing? It's good to see you. But this time, though, because we've got spooky season going on with Halloween coming up and we've got Extra Life charity fundraising to do next month and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to be playing a lot of Fallout and a lot of Skyrim. I'm doing something a little different with Skyrim, at least. 
Just before I started stream tonight, I went and I added a crap ton of mods that add all sorts of new locations to explore, because I've never really used those mods before. So I've got things like, you know, uh, the Somerset Isles and False Gar and Bruma and all that, that stuff, plus Skyrim Underground and this, that, and the other thing. So I honestly have absolutely no idea what we're going to get up to, but it should be fun. What? Oh, wait, no, not that one. Vigilance of Stendar. Oh. So you would like to be a Lambert then. You're doing good? I'm glad to hear that. That's excellent. Man, my first encounter with Vigilance of Stendar and I did not get to turn them into a lamp. Even if they weren't really actual Vigilance of Stendar. Also, what happened to the other one? I see two ladies here. Where's the guy that we were talking to? I think I almost got one of the guardsmen. That would be funny. Wonder what how they would react. So far, reactions to being turned into mobile lamps vary considerably. A random person in Whiterun really didn't react much at all. Uthgard complains, but doesn't otherwise seem to mind. I hit one traveler and one hunter just randomly on the road, and they attacked me instantly. Kind of a hard thing to predict so far. I'm also rapidly approaching my second level gained entirely, or I guess almost entirely, from casting light spells, just because this frickin' reshade that I've applied makes night so dark. But I don't mind. My alteration abilities usually suffer a little bit. Be interesting having alteration be one of my strongest schools of magic early on. Usually destruction's my number one. No, actually it doesn't, Sketchy. Have you ever been out beyond the city in the actual darkness? Nighttime is freaking bright. When you get out beyond all the city lights and natural sun and, like, uh, or not sun, but starlight and moonlight flood everything, it's bright. You can see. It's not nearly this dark.
It really is, Jarig. It really, really is. Light pollution is... You know, you don't think of it very much, but it's really kind of terrible. It's surprising how bright everything is when you're outside away from city light pollution. Only time it's so dark is when you're in a forest. Yes, that is true. But we're not in a forest here. It has absolutely no business being this dark. This is just unnaturally dark. I'm probably going to try and find a better reshade. I don't mind if nights are a little bit darker than default. But I don't like it when it's like this. So that you actually just can't see anything. That's not realistic. It's really not. It looks fake and it looks dumb. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you, sir. Anonymous letter. Someone, please help. A group of necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient, dangerous magic which I fear will have unintended and irreversible consequences. I was expelled from their studies as ambitions grew into folly against my warnings. They're performing a ritual to summon a large group of these foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak in the southernmost area of Skyrim, and must be stopped before it's too late. Yeah, I think that's it. That has to be the one. So, we'll get to that eventually. I like that mod, or it, it's not really a mod. It's one of the uh, things from the Creation Club. It's a creation. I used it in my other playthrough, the one where I actually beat the game. And it was really good. I enjoyed running into groups of zombies every now and then as I traveled. It spiced things up a bit and added some interest and some interesting loot. But... They would rip my face off if I went right now. So we're not going to do that right now. We're going to wait a while. Maybe around level 10 or 15. There's a reason why almost every fantasy medieval setting game has a place called the Dark Woods or something similar to that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out camping in a place called Algonquin Park in southern, like, almost mid-Ontario, I guess. Not really northern Ontario, but it's getting a bit further north than southern Ontario as well. And it's a very, 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 very vast forest with no development to speak of, no lights, and... If you're in a clearing, you can see perfectly well. If you're not in a clearing, if you're under the tree canopy, it's dark. Like, this would look fairly realistic. Here's an excellent example of light pollution. There's so much light gathered into one space in the entry to the city that it actually looks like you can see in the city itself. 
This is an illusion that will pass in just a second as we go beyond the light, the, uh, the, the light down below. From the college in Winterhold. As soon as we get a little deeper into the city, we'll pass beyond all that light, and there we go, and suddenly it's dark again. You. What are you? Please, take Mother Mara's blessing to wash this unease away. Excuse me? What are you on about? Mother guides me to those flickering souls who are yet to cast themselves on the fire for tomorrow's utopia. She sees in you potential, potential which can avert calamity. I, her most devoted servant, need you to believe in the goodness of your heart, in love. Uh, I don't think there was an answer in that insane ramble. Forgive her beloved child of entropy. For all her conviction, she only looks up, blind to those below the clouds which she wishes to ascend. There is a terror, a terror of minds and ideas forming in the West. A congliage of antipathy and repressed hatred is nearing its sum. If this horror transpires, then neither the restraints of distance nor time will thwart the canker that will be birthed there. I make this plea to you, special child. Meditate between the opposites and seek resolution in the chaos. I will help whenever I can, but my light is weak. However, even the faintest flame can act as a beacon against the background of deep night. That flame will appear to you in a maze of dark when you most need it. A beacon. Did Meridia send you? B or Mara called you special child. How does that make you feel? Mara, what is this? There is nothing to decipher. Just take heed of these words. Go west and see. Open those eyes and see that which belies its splendor. Beset by men, gods, kings, and ideas, keep a clear eye. Keep your head above water when you reach that realm. The tides of want can drown any who venture too far from the shore. Oh! That's one of the location mods. That's actually really cool. Holy crap. <laughs> Nothing to decipher my butt, I know, right? What should I do then? You're still speaking in riddles. Huh? Sorry. Ugh, my head. What on man? What spell did you cast on her? I know no such spell. Whatever it was affected me had affected me as well. Yes. Yes, I saw. You were mumbling to yourself, almost word for word that of Jayana. It, forgive me. Our travels have put me in a hastened mood. Your priestess had Mara speaking through her, told me about a place in the West. Didn't know madness could be contracted. Is this a jest you're both in on? Do I look like I'm jesting? Is this my jesting face, sir? Help me up this place to the West. No. It looks like you're serious, which worries me a lot more. The closest I can come to answering your visions is that we had just hailed from Evermore, which may be that west you want. If you're dead set on taking voyage there, then a merchant who has a route between that hinterland kingdom and Skyrim should be resting at Markarth. Word of warning, if you care to listen. The Reach isn't a place you want to risk your neck just on the visions of a zealous priestess. Mara's blessings. E, we've heard you quite enough about Hello, Mara Ed. for now. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. I was going to go rest the night at the inn, but that took so long that now we're going to have to go rest for a few hours in the morning until the shop opens. Meanwhile, in the Shivering Isles, Shiogarath, madness that can be contracted? Now there's an idea. <laughs> Let's not be giving Shiogarath ideas.
and baubles for sale, all crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. All I can do is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. Come to Olava for a reading, did you? Sorry, pup, but I'm not quite in the mood. Okay, I'm actually here for a room. Actually, let's see if I still have the room I rented the other night. It's probably too late, but it might still be within the 24 hours. Damn it. Well, duh. Dang it, where'd Hulda go? Well, okay, fine then. Just have to loiter. Thor, damn it. Fine. Chops and steaks fit for a yard. Come and see my special finest quality. Well, hello. Hmm? Well, hello. Well, hello. Better say hello back one of these times, or he's just gonna say it forever. Need something? No. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. I want money. Welcome to War Maiden. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, what are we down to? 378 of 350. That's not going to cut it. 365 of 350. What on earth am I still carrying? Good doing business with you. Thanks. Actually, I'm here. Still here. What do you need to take? All the extra bits and bobs. go not quite yet be Weird. patient you look like maybe you need a new weapon take a look so let's not buy his entire stock let's sell instead probably a better idea Each 25. Time. 
a little wet and bedraggled at the moment, Winters. Possibly like she's kind of missing the comforts of home up in solitude. Or at least missing, you know, the lack of a need to carry all of the comforts around with her all at once until her back aches. And her legs threaten to break. I'd even buy one of some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Oh shoot, I do have a million potions. They could be weighing me down. Then there's all this food. Like 33 raw canine meat. There we go. That got rid of most of my carry weight. I almost think we've had problems dealing with wolves or something. Do come back. No promises. She's a long way from her warm manner, she really is. Acceptance for my supper is all I ask. Who, what, where, what? I ain't done nothing. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your Lady, kind heart. Could you spare a coin? Sure, whatever. Sure. Yes? I'm so hungry. Well, it won't let me give you a coin, so sorry about that, kid. Uh, now that I've got carry weight, what can I do? How much money have I got? I thought, oh, wait, right, I had 1,600 coins, but that was before I went on a magic buying spree. Okay, um, so what now? I've got a little bit of storage space to spare. A fair bit, actually, if you consider the fact that I just emptied Uthgird's inventory. Oh, and I just thought of another mod that I need to get. I can only use one companion right now. I need to be able to get um, Lydia as well as Uthgird. Wolves must really love you. They do. Mostly for dinner. Maybe occasionally a lunch or breakfast. Well, okay. Let's hit the road again. We'll see what we can find. All right. You need a whole train of pack mules. I mean companions. Yes, that is true. Well, I think I'm late for my second break. So, I think what we're going to do is I am going to take a second break shortly here. I'm 
I'm gonna also hope that the guard doesn't take offense at my having just launched a lamp spell at him. Oh good, it didn't actually hit him. Maybe some of the bodies around Fort Greymoor are still around. Loot those. Slow myself to a crawl again. But what? Oh my! Wow! Dark Brotherhood Bandolier Shoulder Pad. Note from Dark Brotherhood Assassin. As instructed, you are to eliminate Una by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Oh, trust me. It's your only option. Hello? Any bodies around? Oh, there are. Random passerby looking for loot. I have to say your fortress is kind of a disappointment so far. a few more than that. They may be further away though, which means my chances of finding them are pretty slim. Oh, would you look at that? I think that's one right there. There's that. There's rocks. Okay. Tempted to fall off the wall. But I've put most of my points into magic, not into health. So it's probably not the best plan. Oh, look at that. There's more than one.
distance traveler. Armor. I'm on my way to Solitude to join the Legion. A united empire is better for everyone. Okay, I'm not gonna cast light on you and maybe make you hostile. Loyal Imperial soldiers are a thing we need more of. If you were going to join the Stormcloaks, that would be a whole other kettle of fish. What the heck? I've never seen this before. Imperial patrol dog? That's amazing. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in solitude. There's my house. Can't wait to kill another of Alfred's boys. Good job, sir. Stay sharp. One of these days, we should probably do at least enough of the main quest that... Oh. Gosh, no. Plague Wolf? I love that the bodies react to being hit by the magic light. It's amazing. Huskies? Those are not wolves, they're dogs. Why are they hostile? I didn't have to do it. Shoot, wait a minute. They're Imperial. It's gonna miss, right? Yeah, okay, it missed. <laughs>
Oh god, what's going on here? small saber cat damn you no sign of him. well the bad news headshot what the holy crap that was loud <laughs> thank you kellen ray <laughs> damn that scared the crap out of me How are you doing, Kellen Ray? It's good to see you. The bad news, I am overburdened again. Hey, I got my fine clothing back. The good news is this time we're actually really close to one of my houses so I can drop stuff off. You've been lurking a while? Okay. It is good to see you. I appreciate the lurk. So close. It was his birthday, Callan Ray. Happy birthday, or happy belated birthday, I suppose, at this point. He had a good day. Don't let him tell you otherwise. Thank you, Cleric. I appreciate that. You had a fantastic day. That's awesome. I am so glad to hear that. Absolutely, what time. And this is probably also a very good time to uh, take that break that I keep talking about, but not actually going to take. So just give me a moment here. Okay, folks, I have to warn you all. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so you asked for this. Literally. What did the farmer use to move his sleeping cattle? A bulldozer. I'm so sorry. But not really. Well, you're very welcome, Kalanay. Okay, I don't think we're too far from Golden Hills Plantation. Yeah, we're roughly... Oh, wait, that's feet, not meters. It's gonna say we're about a kilometer out, but I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. I really should take that break, so if you guys will bear with me. I'm gonna go take a quick break. Maybe... You know, one of the five to eight minute ones, because I do have to grab some food as well. And uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. So if you will, uh, if you'll bear with me, now's a real good time. If you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something. And I'll meet you back here in just a bit. They were moved. That's true, Kellen, right? They were. Back in a few. Oh, crap. Uh, Okay. Hang on a second here. What on earth is...
Um, hmm. You, uh, you, you carry on carrying on. What the? What? What is going on? And it's back here again. Yeah. What the hell was that? It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential lore, for a few more a sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. The channel. Eld, please prepare Skull. a seat for our guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. didn't work so well. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh. Are they hungry? Maybe this is more like banished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. One who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> Aloy? Errand! <laughs> I love how expressive they are in this one. The facial animation is so amazing. Oh my god. 
they have my tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan McLeod. If I had to hazard a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> okay, I am back. I love that that Fallout 4 clip played right at the end there. That was from last night's stream. Thank you, Ansara. Is that up there? Hello? Where'd you go? I already picked that site clean if that's where you're off to. Oh, you're over there. Oh, such a near miss. Does anyone happen to know what mod this dungeon here, Hopes Abandon, is added by? Because I added probably 15 or 20... Oh, damn it. I was going to install the new mod, wasn't I? Oh, well. Next break. That's fine. I'll take a break around 3 and then I'll add the multi-companion uh, mod. Actually, I, it doesn't even matter. We're not going to get Lydia tonight, so I, I'm... Not gonna worry about it. I'll make sure that I have that mod installed for next time we play it.
Now where did I leave that house again? It's gotta be there. Abandon is its own mod by itself? I don't remember adding one by that name, though. I wonder if it is a mod of its own that got incorporated into a larger collection mod or something, maybe? Okay, so I can't plant light. Can't say I'm surprised. So you can basically plant anything. We've now done more with this particular uh, you know, creation than we did in the entire first playthrough we had it in. If I can plant Nern root. Looks like that's a yes.
hire a steward? I don't want to pay a steward. Do you think I'm made of money? Okay, let's get rid of some of this crap here. Wait, why am I still slow? Damn it. <laughs> because I just took everything. I didn't put it away. I'm clever. Quest items can't be removed. There we go. That's better. Flying horse. You don't see that every day. Several times. Okay, let's see. Magicka. Get the only important destruction dual cast going.
Man, it's getting dark quick. Rest. Can't see a frickin' thing. Hello? Where were you two seconds ago? Thank you, Uthgird. Lucky. This is why I have so many problems with carry capacity in wolves. Oh, actually, I seem to remember. There's a lootable right around here, isn't there? Somewhere. It's a little further down. Dear Obla. Oh, God. I can't say that, but yes, basically, that's precisely what I was trying to do. Oh my god, it's a master level.
can come back. I could probably do it, but I only have a few lockpicks. You know, maybe when I've got 50 or 60 lockpicks, we'll give it another try. I've done it before at ridiculous low levels of lockpicking skill. You can do it. There are people who swear by the listening to the tumblers technique, and that's a real thing. It's tricky as hell, but you can do it. Get ready. Trouble ahead. You don't say. You scared me. How did you not notice? Guard, tell me before you infiltrate enemy strongholds. Huh? 
Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Where was my last save? It has to be back at the plantation, assuming that it gave me an autosave when I exited. Notices the little light, but not the massive explosion. Yep, that's true. Ugh, well, okay. Could be a lot worse. All the planting is still done. Yeah, okay. Trying to make it to this bandit encounter before night falls completely so that I can see something of what I'm trying to do here. And it's not working out quite as I'd hoped. But close. Oh, well, he's dead now. Sorry, Oscar.
Stop moving. Really? There we go. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can quick save in this game. It's not Fallout 4 survival mode. No. Get. Get wrecked, sir. E to Robber's Cove. And there we go. Now I'm overburdened again. We could rest here. Archery increased to sixteen. I want to keep hold of that memory because it's going to be a while before my archery increases it all again.
I've actually done a fair chunk of the Thieves Guild quest line Amish in my previous playthrough, not in this one. I haven't done anything in this one. This is a brand new modded playthrough. So I haven't touched the Dark Brotherhood. I haven't touched the Thieves Guild. Don't have any particular plans to do either, although it is November next month. My current plan is to do Fallout as my charity game this year, but I was getting some disturbing crashes in Diamond City. So I might end up going back to Skyrim after all. And I also have this sort of nagging suspicion that the Skyrim level up your skills by actually using them system is better for the charity thing than Fallout's wait until you level and then spend points to increased stuff. So, Skyrim might be the better option anyway. You know, lurk and get some sleep. Hope you have a great rest of stream. Thank you so much, Matt. I really appreciate that, and I will catch you again soon. You know, I'm not necessarily opposed to doing the Thieves Guild, but one of the things that we're doing a little differently with this modded playthrough of Skyrim is that I literally, just before I started stream tonight, installed about five gazillion which is to say roughly 20, 15 to 20, location mods. So I've got things like Bruma and Somerset Isle and all those locations that I've never been to because they're not part of the base game. I will probably end up being a lot more interested in exploring stuff like that than in... Do Where the hell did you come from, sir? Than in doing the Thieves' Guild. Hey, iPhase, how's it going? It's good to see you. Uh, it's been a pretty good day. Skyrim, Fallout, they're all a lot of fun. I'm having a pretty good time with it. Thank you for being here. Should also warn you, it may be a little bit before I'm able to, uh, you know, move quickly. Oh, wait a minute. I lied through my teeth just there. Othgird, I emptied your inventory, didn't I? What do you need to take? Yeah. Yes, take. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, that's better. We're gonna embark on a bit of a dangerous or at least really difficult mission next. We have to get up to solitude and we have to figure out where the hell I live. Because I forgot to make note of that.
I think there's supposed to be an entrance to one of the new dungeons near Dragon Bridge. Not entirely sure where. deliveries to make no time for chatting okay hey jh how's it going it's good to see you Yeah, this is it. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in fall. Oh, I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. I won't keep you. How are things going, J.H.? I hope all is well with you. Okay. Now, if I were a relatively wealthy nobody living in solitude, where would I live? I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and drugs. It's been too long since we had a good band with Is it this place? This might be it. No, that's Vittoria Vici's house. Have a great night, Ultra. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. Thank you. I'm trying, Nixus. It's uh, turning out to be trickier than you might think to turn it into a spooky game. Let's buy our... Wait. Is Proud Spire Manor where I live? I huh? guess we'll have to... Book this. Oh, this does look familiar, actually. Okay. Apparently, I live in Proud Spire Manor. <laughs> okay, and uh, apparently I've got a little bit of uh, lighting glitch going on, but that's okay. That actually might be because of the spell flipping through the ceiling or something. That's all right. Okay, let's see. Actually, I guess I don't really need to store this stuff here. We're in solitude. 
I'm sure there are merchants I can sell crap to. <clears throat> but uh, let me get you a shout out on the way out, Ultra. There we go. I may have some newcomers in here who do not know Ultrasaurus. If you don't, please make sure you go give her a follow. She is a wonderful, amazing streamer. Known her for years on the channel now. Plays a lot of really chill, relaxing, fun games and is always well worth spending time with. There's local map. Okay, so Vittoria Vici is basically our neighbor. That's good to know. Castle Dower. There's a Fletcher there. Bits and pieces. Radiant. Oh, yes. Radiant Raiment. The Winking Skeever. Okay. Doesn't seem like it's where I want to go. I think I went the opposite direction. said you got here just before the execution must have been a lovely first sight got here i live here what are you talking about lady baron's my husband he works the forge up at castle dower i barely see him nowadays what with him filling orders for the army were you at rog beer's execution no that was an ugly affair High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. You sound dangerously similar to a Stormcloak lady. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. All right, let's see. Doesn't really want weaponry, but she'll take some of these capes. And even the armor, that's not bad. Necklace of Minor Smithing, I think I'll keep hold of that. Okay, so she does carry... Oh, interesting. She has a variety of backpacks. Hagler backpack with bedroll. Mage backpack with bedroll. Yeah, I will definitely take that. Fishing map of Hafingar. Faith House follower furniture receipt. What? Uh, 
an ice crystal that shatters for 15 frost damage to health and stamina, direct hits, deep bypass, frost resist. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Let's see what they got in here. Are you a member of the college? Or did you just steal those robes from a real wizard? You always insult people when you meet them. It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where attire is concerned. Rude. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. So what should I wear to the Blue Palace? You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Sounds easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Radiant Raymond fine clothes. Okay. I still oh, want to see what they have. What delight. Another charming customer. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind. Really. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well. They have a few circlets that might be good. Oh, they've actually got college boots and robes. That's funny. They even have the college robes in a variety of colors. Hooded monk robes? Wow. Mantled college robes. Huh. Finally. Okay, I think that's about it. Is there anything left up here that we can look around at? Nope. Not particularly. Something. Those are mine now. No, yeah, it's fine. I think I will get a few things marked on my map real quick, though. Atlas Farm and maybe this stuff down here. East Empire Company Warehouse.
need something? Nope. All good. country to head south instead of just running the roads over and over and over Okay, so that's how Othgood's got it up. Oh, that was a bear cub. Oh, Mama's not around. Okay, that looks like a thing that we should probably mark on the map. Let's get over there and see what's going on. Shot right under the ground. What is this place? Oh, that looks like a skeleton. Are you a skeleton? Fort Snowhawk discovered. You are a skeleton. It doesn't say anything good info like bot-based ones. Yeah, but the bot-based ones don't give you a follow link right here in the channel. You have to click through to the profile to do it. Here, you just tap the button and you're done. Follow achieved. Is someone there? Oh, what are you talking about? No, it's missing because it doesn't stay there. It stays there for like maybe 30 seconds or a minute or something like that, and then it vanishes.
Ghost Walk. Master is invisible for 10 seconds or until broken, then teleports back to where the spell was cast. Yeah, it's one of those. It's really good. I will admit, I like using it in conjunction with a regular shoutout, not just instead of, but uh, since Ultra came in early in the stream this evening and we shouted her out both ways, I figured just the new shoutout was probably fine. There's no sign here, that's weird. Where does this road go? Where are we? Now we're almost at Morthal. Let's follow this. is full, but nothing I want to eat. Fine, I'll just starve. Sometimes you just gotta starve. Predictive text? I... Oh, rude. Also, where the heck is Utgard? I thought she was behind me in the swamp back there. I don't know, JH. Could be any number of things. Oh, you son of a jerk. There you are, Uthgard. Took you so long. And you're battling necromancers and skeletons and spiders and who knows what, and you've been off doing whatever.
What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We've no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Too bad. It's no Here's use. another wizard for you. Let's get back to it then. She wasn't having to crawl because of carrying my burdens. She was crawling because I was sneaking, so she was also sneaking. That's no deer, that's a freaking horse. Eating a deer. Here we go. Oh, that... <laughs> okay, so that's apparently the road to Morithal. Good to know. Stone Hills, Dawnstar, and Windhelm that way. Markarth, Whiterun, and Solitude that way. Whiterun? Whiterun's this way. this game. See what this mirror watch is. Oh, wait a minute. This is a player home, isn't it? Remember this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, let's see you put up a fight. Whoops. Sure showed that axe handle. Sorry, Hans.
When the eye is doused in flames, the hair will light the way. I've heard that fool Sindar say it over and over, breath stinking of ale as if it were a limerick. Given his dark hood, you might think it was a dangerous spell, but so long as no one's hair caught on fire or found imps in their cupboards, the words were harmless, just the mad ramblings of a drunk. Of the inn patrons, only I bothered to humor him. We bonded over a bottle of honing brew and the bucket with which we had history. So when the elf bit the dust, it was only natural he left his things to me. Among them were countless pieces of junk, including full ownership of the bucket and a spell tome written in some long-dead language. But as soon as I started cursing the old fool for willing me his trash, out slipped two items of value. A map and notes to a tower deep in the swamps. It was only after reading it that I realized his drunken words weren't part of any limerick. They were instructions. A way in. Now that I'm here, things are getting even more clear. The hair part still doesn't make a lick of sense, but the eye is the stone seal, that much I'm sure. Yet nothing I do seems to work. I've doused it in the fire for my torch. I've chopped kindling for hours and built a bonfire high enough to scorch the bloody moon. Still, nothing. Maybe the seal can only be broken with magic. Well, if that drunken fool can learn to cast spells, so can I. I've got the bastard's tome, I just need to make sense of the words. But I better be quick. The fire seems to be attracting all sorts of creatures from the belly of this unholy marsh. Hopefully I can manage to survive long enough to discover whatever treasure lies within. Airwatch discovered. I forgot all about this place. Uh, the hare. Oh, do we have to follow the hare? We do, don't we? Enter mirror watch. Uh, there we are. So just like that, how many player homes do I have now? I guess I got two extras tonight, so I've got the one that I started with in Solitude. I've got this. And I've got Golden Hills Plantation. Good thing I have a convenient player home right here. Dagger. Need a container. Oh, right by the door. Bookcase. That'll do for now.
Sorry, Asgard. Roasted skeever, yes. I understand that's a delicacy in these parts. Oh, what are we... Oh, is that... I think that's Labyrinthian. Let's get that on the map. I don't think I'm going to go in. I don't want to tangle with the trolls right now. But uh, I would like to at least get it on the map. Though, actually, I can probably deal with the trolls, now that I think about it. Maybe not five or six of them all at once. That's going to make me go pretty far up, isn't it? So close to level six. I try to make it through. I don't think I should. I'm gonna quick save. Let's go for it. What's the worst that's likely to happen? Okay. These trolls are a little beyond me. Got it. Saved. Ooh, okay. Now I could do Destruction Mastery 2. Restless Cold or Ionized Path. I'll do that one because I do like the shock against mages Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Yes, you will, Jage. Oh! Jerk wolf.
And let's mark here as my destination. Okay, so that's right that way. Oh, that jeez, that's white run right there. We picked the right place to come down the mountain. Crap. I'm going to be back at my home now. There's no way it auto saved at Labyrinthian. Oh, but I did quick save at Labyrinthian. Let's see if we can sneak past without attracting attention this time. That would be no. Okay, now I'm quick saved on the right side of Labyrinthian.
Thank you. Yeah, quick saving again because we're getting awfully close to white run and I don't want to have to make this journey again. There we are. Are you guys just gonna hang out here forever now? All right. If you say so. You must be one of those whispers from the college in Winter Hall. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I enjoy this work well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the Intui Solda. Anyway, what do you need? The room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Ugh. Okay, so 937. Let's go maybe 10 hours again. That ought to be good. Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Warwick Stair. The security in Whiterun is terrible. And the braggart did swagger and vanish.
Take a good look around. Keep I'm forgetting. Sure find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I you look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. I'm fine. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Thank you. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. No problem. Be careful. Oh, is Discord out? That sucks, Space Vikings. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. If you change your mind, seek me out here. She looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, maybe it's just a localized thing then. Uh, interruption with your internet or something. Mara's blessings. Two hundred K plus reports? Huh. Yeah, that could easily be, uh, like, a fairly large localized event. Oh, it just came back. Oh, that's not bad, then. Knew if I wind enough. Nice. Like, we're gonna go deal with the mages up that way. Maybe take the Raider Tower along the way towards Riften. Not actually going to Riften. I'm going to have to wrap up here fairly soon. This is a good time to remind you folks. Uh, normally, when I get to Monday night streams, I warn you that I don't stream Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I will be back Thursday. That's not going to be the case this week. I will be finishing up on Monday, and then I'm taking time off. This will be my last week off in 2022. That's good? Yeah, you're with me. Good. So I will be off from the 13th until the 17th. But then that's where things get interesting. Angry. Damn it. <laughs> Please tell me it auto-saved at the end. I wasn't expecting a hag raven on this pathway. What the heck? Uh, anyway, so yeah. I'll be taking off the 13th through the 17th, but you may be noticing that the 17th is a Monday, not a Wednesday. Uh, that's because Tuesday the 18th is my eight-year anniversary as a Twitch streamer. And I will be streaming on that Tuesday. Oh, even better. It auto-saved after Arcadia's place. So I will basically be hopping out of bed, getting some coffee... And then getting on stream you on that Tuesday as early as I can. Might even go to bed earlier the night before just so that I can start a bit earlier. And then I'll be just going for as long as possible. So it'll be an earlier start even than my typical start at 4 p.m. I'd like to start around 3 or 2 or even 1 if I can swing it. 
get as much daytime streaming in as I can and just roll right through until I have to stop. Which may or may not be 4 o'clock in the morning. We'll have to see. But that's my plan. I was originally planning to play Fallout 4 for that because Fallout's been a very important uh, you know, game for the channel over the years. But I am having some concerning crashes with it likely due to my mod list. So I may have to spend some time during my break weeding through that and seeing if I can fix that up and cause it to not happen. And if I'm able to do that, maybe we'll just go ahead and we'll uh, keep on with the Fallout concept. But if I can't sort it out, Skyrim will probably be my fallback. I kind of expect that Bethesda games are going to dominate my playlist until Starfield comes out, at which point all other games are going to cease to exist. Let's quick save right here, just in case that Hagraven is still there. Still there. And uh, we'll move on and see what's going on up this way. Oops. Don't jinx it, I said that about Cyberpunk 2077, and look what happened to me. You got an amazing game out of it, Spice Vikings? People are raving about Cyberpunk these days, even if it took a while. I have zero regrets about getting it. I think it's an amazing, incredible game. Problematic launch, I won't deny that. That was a temporary situation. Okay, no Hagrave in here. Flame Warrior? What the heck? Utgard, get him! Oh, no! Ooh. Saved by the level up again. Oh, you...
That's rude. Thank you, Uthgard. One day, I will learn. That day is not today. Hitting a hitbox. There we go. What? Is that the skeleton I looted back there? That's so obnoxious. Just slam it into the cliff, why don't you? And on a kill cam shot, too. you go is that you that looks like I can tell if that's a treetop or a human let's be a treetop nope No skeletal minions for you, sir. Or ma'am. No, oh, I'm not going to get to make the... Oh, actually... There we go. Where'd you go? Hello? Ritual stone. Oh, wow. That was not the skeleton I was expecting. Kind of a nice touch, actually. I like that. It's always seemed a little weird to me that the skeletons are always human, despite the number of other species that are hanging around in this world. Is 
still a little weirded out that the body up here is gone. Conjure Undying Ghost. Armored Skeleton Archer. Undying Ghost. Flames. I've already got Ghost Walk. Oh, that's her body. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Let's go. Thank you for hanging out, Vikings. I'm gonna... Oh, my... It's after 4 o'clock. Wow. I'm gonna have to get going, too. I need, uh... I need to try and get some work done on... Getting ready for tomorrow night's stream. I really do want to try and take on this tower, though, before I go. So, hopefully, that won't take too long. Was not counting on getting my inventory overloaded again so quickly, but I should know better than that, so I can't really complain too much, I guess. we have those storm cloaks up ahead too now granted storm cloaks are not much better than bandits themselves but they may end up taking on the initial guys that are at the tower before I get there oops Hell was that? Somebody just fell out of the sky. I'm not sure if that's the Stormcloaks engaging in battle again or what the deal is. It doesn't look like they're far enough ahead to be dealing with the bandits. Maybe they ran into a wild animal or something. Yeah, that's way too far away. It's not even reaching the tower. Trying to get to where the body dropped. Well, I don't think it was a body at the time when it dropped, but trying to get to where the body ended up. Let's put it that way.
not entirely sure where that is. I thought it was around here. It might be a little further. I know it's not higher up than this. Either got to be hidden in stuff or... Could have already despawned, I suppose. Oh, damn it, they are fighting up there. That was supposed to be my battle. Rude. Well, it's my battle now. Wait a minute, that guy has red cloak. What the? Do the bandits occasionally wear red? They're not being assaulted by Imperials, are they? Because that would be unfortunate. Get him. Just my luck, somebody already tripped it. Did you already deal with all of them? What the heck? I heard they got to attack anybody. Oh, there's one of the bodies of the attackers down there. That looks more Stormcloak than Imperial. Oh, nope, she did not get rid of all of them. She sure didn't. wanted to kill people too. Hey, we got to. Just took a little bit longer than I wanted. But we got there in the end.
That's probably too far to drop, right? Quick save it first. Yep. <laughs> We've just been lucky enough to welcome a new lore seeker to the library. Thank you so much for the follow. Yes, thank you indeed. Thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. It's good to have you here. Stormcloak is continuing to wash away. Might not be able to loot him. Crimson Hide Cloak. I still have to try to get Campfire and Frostfall to work. So I'm gonna probably keep a lot of the more striking cloaks, especially the warm ones that I can find. And I have to admit, she had a really nice cloak. Hunter and warrior backpacks. Nice. <laughs> I always forget this place actually has a pretty decent library. Alchemist's note, common ingredients. Alchemical properties of kitchen ingredients. Even standard cooking ingredients can be used to make potions with the correct preparation. Combining Elzir and wheat will result in a simple restore health potion. Ironwood nuts and Elzir will create a potion of resist fire. Barley and frost miriam can be used to create fortify magicka. Garlic and salt pile can be combined into a potion of stamina regeneration. Although the magnitude of these common ingredients is low, the potions would no doubt be useful in certain situations. some neat items in here I've never seen before.
Okay. Thanks, and this is the last of them. Hmm, crap. Yeah, looks like... Unless that's the body. I think our downed Stormcloak guy is pretty much gone. Oh, that was the body. And I think I just jostled it loose. Whoops. Oh, damn it. It's going for the falls. I shouldn't have hit it with the light. A little luck, it'll say stuck on that rock. I won't get swept over the falls and to my death. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, oh, it was a bandit, not a stormcloak. Ah, but there is a stormcloak here too. Okay, you can both go over. That's fine. You have to go? Yeah, actually, so do I. I won't make you guys watch me make my really slow, torturous way all the way back. Now that we've cleared this place, this was my goal. I wanted to get this done. Now the way is clear to all the other dangerous crap between here and Riften. And that area of Skyrim. Not that I actually have business that way right now. But I just... I have a fondness for this particular tower set. So, uh, I think I'm gonna do a quick save and a proper save. And because I do have more mods to add, I'll just quit. So I'm set to do that. And we're gonna go find somebody that we can raid this evening. So thank you folks so much been a really fun night always really enjoy skyrim i'm encouraged that skyrim at least is working really properly fallout for the most part fallout 4 was going pretty good but those frequent crashes that we get in specifically in diamond city they do worry me a little bit i need to see if i can figure out what's causing that i do have a kind of a terrible suspicion that maybe it has something to do with the Misty Pines mod that makes it look so great. But if it's destabilizing the game and causing not just Fallout itself, but OBS to crash, that's not a good thing. So uh, I'll have to do a little testing and see if I can figure that out. But anyway, for now, let's see... Looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Then we have Mandy playing more Devotion. Lunady is playing some Overwatch 2. 
And I don't know what this game is, but what if Julia is playing at dead of night? No idea what that would be, but it's her first playthrough of it, whatever it is. So let me go over that again real quick. Like we had Laxative Legacy with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We had... Tea with Mandy with Devotion. Lunity with Overwatch 2. And What If Julia with At Dead of Night. Thank you, Jarek. I really appreciate that. And thank you, JH. Braving the harsh world of Skyrim. Well, <laughs> harsh is definitely accomplished. I'm a little disappointed I haven't managed to make it look a little more spooky so far. There are mods for that, but every one that I've tried so far, it does a pretty good job of making it look like a scary world of horror, but it also completely tanks performance. And that's when I'm not even trying to stream it, when I'm just trying to play it, so I don't know. We might just end up playing a lot of Skyrim in general, which is fine by me, because we're getting into that, you know, hopefully a year or less than a year out from the release of uh, you know, the uh, Starfield, and so Bethesda games are kind of on my brain a bit. So is there anything in particular you guys would like to go and visit? Any particular streamer or any particular game you would like to see out of those that I listed? One more time, we had Laxative Legacy with Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Then we had Tea with Mandy with more Devotion, the same game she was playing last night. And we've got new friend of the channel, Lunady, who's playing some Overwatch 2. And What If Julia at Dead of Night. If you do have a particular preference with regards to the game or the streamer that we go and visit, just let me know in chat. I cannot promise that it will dictate where we go, but it certainly does influence where we go. Overwatch 2. Okay. I would not mind going and visiting, visiting Lunity again. We've raided her once before. But she was just about to leave, so I'm going to load up her channel and see what's going on. It does look like she is in the middle of a match. So hopefully we'll have more than maybe two or three minutes. You know, at least five, ten, twenty, half an hour. We'll see. Uh, but Lunity's a really cool person. She does really amazing music. She's a musician, singer. And uh, she is a pretty awesome streamer, too. So let's get over to her channel. Let me get you her link. That's my link again. My God, bot, what the heck is wrong with you? All right, fine. I'll type it out manually. There we go. That's Lunity's link. And let me get you the raid kill. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel. If you are a subscriber, if you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, or if there are other Twitch emotes, or maybe emotes from another streamer you'd like to use, just feel free to copy the raid message and arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Ludendi's channel, see how she's doing with her Overwatch, see uh, what her impression of the game is. So far, I gotta tell you, I know a lot of streamers who play Overwatch 2, and reactions have been very mixed. So it'd be interesting to see what she thinks of it and how it's going for her. So uh, I'll see you over in Lunity's channel in just a few minutes. And I will be back tomorrow night as well. The current plan for Sunday, as last week, we are going to be doing some... At least I think we're going to be doing some uh, Sunday night RimWorld. Continuing on with our experiments. Uh, we may not be continuing on with our colony because there have been some updates and stuff to RimWorld. They're releasing the 1.4 update free for people very soon. And when that comes out officially for everybody, they're also going to be releasing a new paid expansion for the game, the biotech expansion, which looks really exciting because that adds the ability for the pawns to have children and reproduce and 
be turn the game into a generational game so that's going to be awesome but uh, that that's the plan for now whatever we end up playing though it's going to be a good time so i'll see you over in lunity's channel in just a minute and hopefully back here tomorrow night for rim world or whatever else we might end up playing so have a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll catch you again real soon bye for now the droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job! I guess I don't need to worry about the data spikes then. I forgot about these guys too. What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. It feels too much like this is finished. It's not at all finished. I've still got so much more to do. But it's coming along so nicely. I really like what is happening with this place. I won't bother checking. No! No, Cassandra! No! Damn it! You. <sighs> gotcha! First try. You fought well, but we're finished. <laughs> 